Hey everyone, thanks again for joining on Sewer for Good today. We're going to show you how to install a leak control flange because this one has been requested by our audience. It's come through on lots of direct messages and all our live feeds as well. And it's a daily one for, even from builders. So let's talk about leak control flanges. We're going to show two substrates, concrete and sheet flooring. Let's start with concrete. Firstly with concrete, you must ensure that safety is number one because silica dust is a real issue out there. So make sure you've got all the right safety equipment for yourself and also others on site to ensure that while you're grinding and chiseling concrete, you don't have any of that dangerous silica dust just floating around and look after yourself when you're working on concrete that you need to grind or, or chisel out. So like a sheet flooring, like we say, you've got to ensure that, that flange can sit flush with the floor. So you've got to work by using a cup grinder or a jackhammer or chisel and ensure that you get that flange that can sit within the floor and it finishes nice and flush. You've got to cut that pipe flush with the floor to start with and then work to make sure that you can fit the flange inside the pipe, the primary pipe, using the right adhesives, the right primers, etc., to bond. This is all about preparing this, the flange for your application. We're not going to show you today how to install the membrane. It's all about getting that flange correct. And you should follow all those steps you can see right now. Most importantly, when that flange is done, then you're going to go and prime the rest of the area and get the, the job ready for waterproofing. But this part, as we keep talking about, is where the water falls. So ensure it is installed as you need it to be so you can actually see that it actually there's a natural fall towards that drain. Are you ready to find your point of difference? Are you ready to position your workers and business as cutting edge waterproofers? GAP qualifies you to practice the waterproofing trade with a high level of skill and expertise, backed by the manufacturer. So what are you waiting for? Be part of the change and find your point of difference among the rest. Thank you and enjoy the rest of this week's episode of Sealed for Good. Now for installing a leak control flange on sheet flooring, it's a little bit different. So if we're working on Skyon or compressed fibre cement sheeting, or any of the other sheet substrates that are recommended for wet areas, you can try a different method. You can use a router or a cup grinder, which is very popular with the waterproofers and tilers out there. But again, ensure that that fits flush with the floor once it's done. So the process is the same, the pipe is cut flush with the floor. You then prepare that diameter of where the flange is gonna sit, and you want it flush or slightly lower. Now, we always recommend that the, there should be a fall to that flange, but you might be confronted with a site where the substrate is dead flat. That's not your fault. You can create that with the scree, but the flange needs to be flush with that substrate. So same method, priming, adhering the flange into the pipe, ensuring that once that's stuck in place, it's sound, it's stable, and your membrane application goes smoothly from there. Now, Take your time with this because a lot of people try and rush the flange and then what happens is they compromise their waterproof application and things go pear-shaped from there. That extra 10 minutes, 15 minutes to half hour, charge it into your application time with your builder. Let the builder know how important it is that it's done properly, not by just getting the chippy on site or even the plumbers. The waterproof or tiler should prepare that flange because they're the ones that ultimately are responsible for the waterproof application. Get it right, take your time, do it as needed, and then ensure that once you've seen it's where it's in, it's in place, you start your waterproof application. If you'd like to know more details on this, you can get hold of us on 1-800-650-435, but this how-to video is one that you can rewind and watch many, many times, share around with your builders, share around with the staff you've got on site, and also, Watch it yourselves to ensure that you're doing this correctly, okay? We're more than happy to hear feedback on the methods that you've found to improve the market, being part of that change, but let's ensure we don't compromise on when leak control flanges are installed. This is the number one part of the application. Get this right, everything else can fly on from there. I'll see you next time on Silver Good.